This is a construction update for the week of March 16th. Improvement projects, Green Line extension. Weekend closures at the School Street Bridge between Medford Street and Highland Ave will begin March 13th and continue each weekend until the full-time closure is established in May. GLX officials expect these preliminary, short-term closures will allow them to permanently reopen the bridge two months ahead of schedule in April 2021. Visit the Bridges, Closures, and Detours tab on the city's GLX website to see detour routes for motorists with a special advisory for butters on Montrose Street. The School Street Pedestrian Bridge is expected to remain open during these preliminary closures for pedestrians and cyclists. The March 10th public meeting was canceled, but the presentation slides are available on the city's website. For a detailed summary of upcoming work, Take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. If you need assistance for a GLX construction-related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Somerville Lab Utility and Streetscape Improvements. Throughout the week, contractors plan to reconstruct the roadway on Somerville Lab between Miriam Street and Mansfield Street. Daytime closures may be in effect at Merriam Street, Rossmore Street, and Mansfield Street intersections. Motorists will be directed to enter and exit via Washington Street. Crews also plan to install lighting and irrigation conduit in the southern sidewalk between Western Ave and Prospect Street. Crews plan to install support of excavation in preparation for the installation of a new sewer in the Somerville Ave McGrath Highway intersection. Somerville High School Building Project. The community meeting, scheduled for Monday, March 16th, has been postponed indefinitely as a result of city efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. The team is exploring alternative avenues to provide an update to the community. During the week of March 16th at the Western Wing, crews will work on interior finishes like drywall, painting, taping, hanging doors, as well as final facade work like installing windows and terracotta. At the Eastern Wing, work progresses on sheathing the exterior as well as plumbing, HVAC, and other mechanical systems on the interior. Contractors also plan to start building up the walls on the new auditorium. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main, the city's contractor, is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of March 16th, crews plan to be on the following streets. Dell Street, Florence Street, Fountain Ave, Glen Street, Harrison Street, Knowlton Street, Myrtle Street, Oliver Street, Palmer Ave, Pearl Street from Mount Ger Vernon Street to Franklin Street, Pickney Street, Sanborn Court, School Street at Medford Street, Springfield Street, Washington Street from Columbus Ave to Washington Terrace, and Webster Street. Spring Hill Streetscape Survey. Streetscape improvements are planned for Spring Hill as part of the Spring Hill Sewer Separation Project. Construction is expected to begin in 2021, but the city is now accepting community feedback to inform design on Phase 1 corridors, which include Highland Ave from Central Street to McGrath Highway, Summer Street from Belmont Street to Bow Street, Central Street from Highland Ave to Somerville Ave, and School Street from Highland Ave to Somerville Ave. To share your thoughts about these roadways, complete a brief survey on the city's website by March 20th, 2020. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed ne Eversource Gas, Berkeley Street, Holland Street, National Grid, Bartlett Street, Pearl Street, and Myrtle Street. This has been a construction update provided by the City of Somerville and read and edited by the Somerville Media Center.